Hello there. Thanks for joining me for question one of the math proficiency test for teachers. Teachers need to pass this test now to get certified in Ontario. Before getting started, I would really appreciate it if you could click the subscribe button below so you don't miss the future videos. The first step to solving any problem is to know the theory behind it. In this case, we just need to know how to add and subtract numbers. So not too, too hard stuff, but if you know how to add numbers by hand, so for example, 21 over 17, then it's, you add in columns, so it would be eight and then 38, because two plus one is eight, is three. And okay, so let's read the problem. Liam has $1,370 in his bank account. So he starts with $1,370. From this account, he spends one, two, three dollars, hundred and twenty-three dollars on groceries, fifty-five dollars on a textbook, and eight hundred dollars on rent. Liam deposits a check for two hundred and sixty dollars in the same account. So from reading this, we can kind of tell already that there is money coming out of his bank account. Three sums of money, and there's money coming into his bank account and the $1,370 is what he started with. So the second step is to do the work. Now we just, now that we need to add and subtract, we just need to actually do it. So there's two ways to do it. So let's say we start with the money that he expenses, the money that he spends. Expenses, we would have something like $123 and then $55 and then $800 on rent. If we add all these numbers up, we get eight in the first column, seven in the second column and nine in the third column. So does it make sense approximately? Yes, it's approximately $1,000 that he spends. And how much does he make while well, deposits a check of $260. So then we can add and subtract those two numbers. So you could find the net income or the net expense and then add that to the bank account. But what I will do here is I'll simply do the, the total at the end is simply his starting amount $1,370 minus ex his expenses. So maybe I'll put the minus in red so it's clear too. Minus $978. And then plus $260. So I kind of went in order of the money. He started, so maybe I can uh, write that down. He started with this, he spent money, and then he deposited this much. When we carry out this new calculation, we have, we, we could do it many different ways, but one way we'll do it is like this. So we'll do it in two steps. So I'll do 1370 minus 978. So I need to zero minus eight, I need to carry one over, borrow one, so I get a six and one, and then 10 minus two, is, uh, 10 minus eight is two, and then I need, again, six minus seven is a negative, so I need to borrow one from here, so I get 16 minus seven, that's nine, then two, then I need to borrow this one, and then I get 12 minus nine, which is three. So he has $392 left in his bank account, and then he deposits that amount, right? So I would get 392 plus 260. And now it's more straightforward to add here. So I would do two plus zero, which is two, nine plus six, which is 15. So I carry one over. I get four plus two, which is six. So the final amount here is 652 and we can tell that it's answer number A.
Now that we have our answer, the third step to any problem is just to build intuition. So what I'm going to try here is I'm going to try to find the net amount of expenses versus income. So if I want to find the difference between expenses, I'll do 978. Let me do that in red because it's expenses. 978 minus the amount of income, which is 260. And then that would be 8 minus 0. That's 8. as uh, 8. 7 minus 6 is just 1, and then 7. Yes, and that makes sense. So that is the net amount. So that is the net difference. And technically, it would be a negative uh, in red, right? Because that's there's more expenses than income. So what we can do from here is we have our starting amount, 1370, and then we minus... 718 instead of the doing the two steps from step two we can look at these guys and then we would get we borrow one here we get two and then five and then borrow one here and then that's 652 same thing right so that's the same answer as we got before i like to solve problems different ways to build some intuition now, lastly, what we can do as well is to create a spreadsheet. When we're working with budgets, one easy thing to do is to work with spreadsheets. You can click the link in, in the PDF that is in the description of the YouTube video to access the spreadsheet. But you can see as well that the balance is 652. And what's cool with working with Google Sheets or Excel is you get to type in formulas by typing in equal first. And that helps you build some intuition to how to do these things. That's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.